cussing at me, I'm gonna kill you. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient fit? Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just... for you. I look forward to hearing you play. The Good only morning. audience I ever had was my husband, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Huh. Fair enough. But... You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well... But they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. Here's some of that burdock root you wanted. Oh, you actually... Well, thank you. This will make a good batch, all right. Okay. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think... As a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. <laughs> we'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. So, Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Hi there. Ladies?
evening, Arthur. New day, Morgan. What you making there, old man? A little medicine. Real medicine or snake oil? Just who you think you're speaking to. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you find any ginseng, I'll make some for you. It's easy enough. It'll keep you well. Even with my illness, it's kept me alive far too long. Oh, you'll outlive us all. Maybe. So I got a hold of some ginseng. Ah, perfect. I'll make some of that tonic for you. Thanks. Smell something? You boys don't know you. Arthur. How's the cigar? Not bad. But sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in. And black water, I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> So, I found you a pipe. <laughs> well, will you look at that. You want these? I stole them anyway. Sure, why not? <laughs> you know, if I didn't know, I'd think you's the same age as them silly girls. Oh, oh wait with you, silly man. Oh, no. Morgan, you got any hair pomade? Five years younger. Oh, and a thousand dollars richer. Well, I'd marry you. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. Excuse me? You know, <laughs> hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some... Sure, I'll buy you some hair pomade. Roses and thorns. <laughs> You're a silver tongue flatterer and no mistake. Oh, I tell the truth, ma'am. I must get back to my work. Oh, there's something about that woman. We out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's that, uh, hair pomade you wanted. Well, look at that. Thanks, Morgan. I, I owe you one. I reckon we should both just forget this ever happened. 